Oh, I just realised it's me being silly. Of course Brass of Barnard can craft the Varan armour. It's just I don't have all the ingredients on me. Let's have a look. Yep, so I miss three studded leather, five cloth and four twine. Sure I've got them in the bank. It's a brazen attack. King Radovid will learn of this. Radovid sent them, you idiot! The audacity! Yep, I had all the ingredients. Right, that's ready to craft. I knew I shouldn't have doubted you, Brass. Oh, right. However, he does need 2,000 Aurons to craft it. Okay, that I don't have at the moment. Right, I shall come back to that one a little bit later, methinks. Expensive, that is good. Make sure I'm tracking the right quest. Nice, let's go and give Roach the info we've got. Can we go? Brigitte Papabrock. She gave me some pretty good leads. Tell me. Baron Kimbold hired some thugs to murder the royal bastards. Son of a bitch. Falters never trusted him. Turns out he was right not to. It was Count Merivel who kidnapped Anais. He wanted to hand both children over to the Nilfgaardians, but Boosie was killed. Damn it all. Radovid is one thing, but Nilfgaard... I get my hands on Maravel. You won't. I delivered the evidence against both of them to Natalis, but the constable decided to ask Kimbold for help and arrested Maravel. Wise. There will come a time for Kimbold as well, but Maravel needed to be removed immediately. A traitor is a traitor. They should take off his head. Can we go? Not just yet. Right, okay, so I've gone with the option I'm going to go and save Triss and let Vernon go after Anais. So we'll be going to the other exclamation mark on the minimap, which is just round this corner. Mm, nothing special. Let's take some portions. Make sure I've got the steel sword ready. Yep, I do. Don't worry, guards, I'm not going to attack. You are to guard the camp like it's the Emperor's treasure. Yes, Your Excellency. Let so much as a flea slip through, and you shall pay with your head. Interesting. Let's see what you got to say, Shillard. Look who's here, the Rivian Witcher. Greetings. Our paths cross often, it seems. Too often. What do you seek here? Triss Marigold. In the Nilfgaardian camp? Fistek has addled your brain. Uh-uh. Lower your sword, son. You've got cheek, Geralt. Let's go. Get One the false move and your ambassador will never see Nilfgaard's son again. 
My men won't let you leave here alive. They will if you ask them to, Excellency, and I believe you will. Reynold Epp Madsen's orders come from the Emperor himself. He'd rather die than give you very gold. Then he'll die. No, mark my words, you will. Unless you release me, it's not too late. You're boring me. Pick up the pace. Why do you care for that sorceress so much? Go. Are you in love with her? A poor choice, even for you. That cuts no ice with me. Out of the way, all of you, or the old man dies. Hold there! I'm not joking. I know. And I advise you not to hesitate. Kill him. For we shan't move one bit. Renwald! He who brings me the Witcher's head will get the Order of Merit. But Ambassador Fitz Estelin. Your Excellency. Orders from the capital. Now I'll have to kill you all. What are you waiting for? Get him! Let's see you try. Not a chance you'll have him there. Nice, let's see what we got around this camp. A lot of crafting materials. Whoa, didn't see you up there. We'll get them in a moment. I'm not opening that chest. Looks like I'm going up. Still had time for a cheap shot and he still missed. against five. Oh, ten. One against ten. Let's do this. Did you really think you could just prance in here? Make the Emperor proud. Kill him! Die, Imperial 
army's ranks are endless! Did you really think you could just prance in here? Make the Emperor proud! Kill him! Let's do The Imperial Army's ranks are endless! dealt with. Now where be the Grand Master of them all? Congratulations, Witcher. They were my best men. Free Triss, or join them. You amaze me. How can you risk your life for a witch? She has information that's very important to me. Ah, that I understand. You're exceptionally reasonable for a Nordling. Thanks. It means a lot to hear you say that. It should. Because I, in turn, have information about her which you may find interesting. What are you talking about? Your friend and the other witches conspired against your rulers. How do you know that? From the best possible source. She confessed. And how did you convince her to do that? By showing her the confessions of other Lodge members. I don't believe you. That's irrelevant at this point. During our chat, my people managed to regroup, call for reinforcements. Maybe now they'll start fighting like men. Time to show you the Empire's true power. Surround him!
Just you left now, my friend. Try to get a proc on him. Doesn't look like it's gonna work. Emperor, I failed. Close one though, I nearly died there. Oh, there we go. Picked up too much stuff. <laughs> Swords, free up my space. What's this? Hmm. Safe. Superb gloves, apparently, if you say so. Just gone over it. Let's level up. Level thirty two now. See if we can increase our actual combat any better. Sword damage unlocks the ability to deal 100% damage to all opponents. Probably don't really need that anymore. What else we got? Igni sign level 3. Yeah. And there's Triss. Are you kidding? The only person you expect to see in a Nilfgaardian dungeon is the Executioner. Did they torture you? They tried various... things. But they got nothing from me. When I left Flotsam with Vernon, I somehow doubted I'd find you so soon. I know it was hard on you. I'll never forget this, you hear? Never. Couldn't you ask your friends from the Lodge for help? How do you know of the Lodge? I just do. Listen, Triss, to come here for you, I had to split up with Vernon. Temeria is in danger of disintegrating. Are you sorry you chose to come here? No, I'm not. But freeing you from Shillard's grasp was not my only reason for coming here. I need you to explain your role in this mess. And to explain why you lied to me. That's not true. I know about the Lodge. I know the Lodge was behind Demavent's assassination. I know Triss Marigold is a member of the Lodge. It's not like that. Show me the error in my reasoning. True. I'm a member of the Lodge. Just like eight other sorceresses. But if you think I'm responsible for the Lodge's actions, you're badly mistaken. The Lodge is a theater for two actresses. Sheila and Philippa have long dominated it. To the point where you didn't know about the murder they planned? To the point where I was no longer invited to gatherings. Why? 
They stopped trusting me. Because you didn't agree with them? Nine women very rarely agree on anything. The actual problem was that... <sighs> Tell me. I was close to you. If Sheila fears anyone, it's Geralt of Rivia. The Lodge did everything to convince me that our relationship didn't bother them, even that it suited them. But they manipulated me. Through me, they fed you select information. Depending on the circumstances, they twisted facts. We're still close. They could still be doing it. Don't insult me. Calm down, Triss. Reynold Ep Matson claimed otherwise, but I'll always take your word over that of some Nilfgaardian lowlifes. Now, you'll tell me everything you know. I need to learn the truth. All existing councils of mages disintegrated after the Thanad massacre. We all acted separately. Philippa decided to create a new organization, a secret one this time. When I was sworn in, it never crossed my mind that the Lodge's plans would soon become secret to its members. As you know, Philip was not one for minor undertakings. She presented a plan for creating a powerful state controlled by sorceresses. No wonder the kings are opposing the sorceresses. Nobody likes a schemer. Philippa and Sheila never lacked ideas or enthusiasm. To control a powerful state, they needed to create one first. Or find a wealthy land with a suitable political arrangement and an easily manipulated ruler. Sheila chose the Pontar Valley, Demavend, and Stennis. Demavend hated mages. No more than Henselt or Radovid. Sheila and Philippa saw Demavend as the weakest ruler. His son, Stennis, blows hot and cold. Plus, he who controls the Pontar Valley controls the north. So it was in Edirne that a popular rebel emerged, preaching the idea of a new state. At one of our meetings, I just asked how they imagined overthrowing Demavend. That was the last time I was invited. After Demavend's death, I became suspicious, but had no evidence. Philippa brushed me off. When you went off to meet Yorveth and Sheila was busy with the Karen's carcass, I managed to scan parts of her megascope. That's when I learned that Sheila had dealings with Letho. Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to, but we never met after that. Letho must have shadowed me when I entered Sheila's room. Then he forced me to teleport us to somewhere near Vergen. Did you talk to him? He wasn't aggressive. In Vergen, he told me that Sheila commissioned them to assassinate Demavend. Them being the witchers of the School of the Viper. Sheila helped them prepare the assassination. I wonder why he told you about it. Is that important? Conspirators who suddenly divulge everything? I'd be suspicious. There was some interference as we teleported to Edirne. I emerged intact, but pretty battered. I knew Philippa was in the area. I decided to go see her and lay my cards on the table. Maybe Letho wanted just that. I met a woman at Philippa's house. Thought she was just a servant or Philippa's lover. Before I could speak, I was overpowered by spells. I hardly expected an attack. The pain I felt as my body was compressed. It's indescribable. As if all my bones were being broken. It's even worse when you return to your true form. In any case, Philippa had no idea her lover was a Nilfgaardian spy. I was carried as that figurine all the way to Loch Muin. Asira decompressed me back just before they murdered her. Shillard interrogated me, but learned nothing. If it wasn't for you, they'd have had me quartered. I didn't piece the puzzle together until I was here, in the dungeon. Now you know everything. Did Saskia know the Lodge's plans? She didn't even know the Lodge existed. Philippa told her that the sorceresses would support an independent state in the Pontar Valley, no strings attached. A fairy tale, but Saskia bought it. Saskia backed Philippa, and the people backed Saskia. Who had Foltest assassinated? I have no idea. Perhaps after Demavend's successful assassination, Sheila and Philippa decided to take the next step. That would be stupid. Killing Demavend was a way to take control of the Pontar Valley. People would forget the regicide in a year, and the Lodge could put its plan in motion. They had to know that if Foltest died, men like Roach wouldn't rest until they learned why that had happened. One thing is certain. Letho killed Foltest, and Sheila was working with Letho. 
Ever find out what Sheila was actually doing in Flotsam? I find it hard to believe she went there just to kill a monster and earn a few orans. You're right, of course. It had something to do with Letho and the Scoyatel. What did she want from Yorvith? The Scoyatel were Saski's trump card. I expect Sheila needed to know what the elves would do, given that a war with Hensel was practically inevitable. That'll have to do for now. We'll learn more at the talks. You're going to attend? You have no memory of how the world worked before the Thanid Massacre. Actually, I know exactly how it worked. That means... We'll talk about my memory later. All right. If the Council and Conclave still existed, kings wouldn't be assassinated and massacres would be less frequent. This is our chance to restore these institutions, and we shouldn't miss it. Normalizing relations between the rulers and the mages who advise them is our only chance for peace. And our only chance to dismantle the Lodge. The Lodge will disintegrate anyway. Once the Kings learn it was behind the assassinations, they'll start a witch hunt. We can prevent that from happening. I'm all for punishing the guilty, but can't abide collective responsibility. I'm ready to go and reveal everything I know about Philippa Eilhart, Sheila de Tanserville, and their schemes. Let's go then. A lot of info there. <laughs> Let's get out of this camp. Those Nilf guardians, that's your work? They followed their leader too blindly. You killed them all. They didn't slaughter themselves. So how do we get out of here? Just go through the gate. We shouldn't arrive at the same time. Let's split up. Triss. Yes? That was some mess. I wouldn't want to see you hurt like that again. Don't worry. I'll manage. See you at the talks. All right. Another level. Another two levels, in fact. That's, I think, the max level is 35, so I'm only half a level left. Alright, let's push ourselves up to this tree. What's the best one I've got? Power, critical effects, enhancement, madness, probably. Oh, that'll be why. 2,500 EXP, wow. Did I get any gold for that? No, don't look like it. I do need to sell a lot of stuff though. 